Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Luke Combs, O2 Arena, American Country King sticks to his favorite things, girls, football, beer. Professionalizing Super League is netball's game-changing moment. Eddie House, Celtics are gonna be a problem for rest of NBA. Keeping up with the Vandals, where are former Idaho players and coaches now? Nimi Quetta impresses in preseason, just wants to help the team win. Luke Combs, O2 Arena, American Country King sticks to his favorite things, girls, football, beer. Telegraph. Country music is gaining popularity in Britain after years of being on the fringe. Luke Combs, an American country singer, recently performed two sold-out shows at the O2 Arena in London, marking the beginning of a series of highly anticipated country music shows in the capital. Combs, known for his blue-collar everyman image, performed his hit songs to a crowd of 20,000 fans. While some may not be converted to the genre, country music resonates with people's simple and universal aspirations, such as owning a home and enjoying life. Combs's music, characterized by big sing-along choruses, is seen as old-school and relatable. But professionalizing Super League is netball's game-changing moment. Telegraph. England Netball has announced plans to relaunch and professionalize the domestic netball league by 2025. The move aims to take advantage of the sport's growing popularity and attract greater investment. Netball has recovered from the pandemic to become the most played sport by women in the UK and the third biggest team sport overall. The sport is following the example of football and Australia in seeking to fully professionalize its top division. England Netball is also looking to tap into its predominantly female fan base to drive interest in the sport. Eddie House, Celtics are gonna be a problem for rest of NBA. Yahoo! Eddie House, former Boston Celtics guard, has said that the Celtics are going to be a problem for the rest of the NBA. The Celtics had an impressive preseason, where they averaged 112 points per game in their four wins. Their final preseason game was the most impressive, where they beat the Charlotte Hornets 127-99. They racked up 22 steals in the game, which broke their regular season franchise record of 21. The Celtics' preseason form is expected to be carried through to the regular season, where they will be a dominant team. Keeping up with the Vandals, where are former Idaho players and coaches now? Yahoo! Number 10 Idaho Vandals football team is on a bye week, so the Idaho Tribune caught up with some former Vandals to see what they've been up to. Paul Petrino was the head coach from 2013 to 21, before taking over as offensive coordinator at Central Michigan in 2022. He was joined there by former Idaho head coach Rob Akey. Nimi Quetta impresses in preseason, just wants to help the team win. Yahoo! Nimi Quetta, 24, impressed during his first preseason games as a member of the Boston Celtics. Playing three games, Quetta was efficient and consistent. In his first game, he scored 7 points on 60% shooting, improving to 10 points on perfect shooting in his second match. In the Celtics' final preseason game, Quetta scored 12 points on 100% shooting with 7 rebounds and a steal. He said he wants to be consistent and help the team win as many games as possible. Western Conference Preview, Title Contender Tiers Yahoo! The Western Conference of the NBA is filled with quality teams, making it difficult for some teams to secure playoff spots. The conference can be divided into tiers based on title contention. The clear contenders are the Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns. The Nuggets bring back their championship-winning starting five, led by Nikola Jokic, the best player in the league. The Suns boast top-end talent in Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal, and are expected to win a lot of regular season games. The fringe contenders are the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers. Both teams are capable of contending if everything goes their way, but they have little margin for error. The playoffs or bust teams include the Memphis Grizzlies, Dallas Mavericks, Sacramento Kings, Oklahoma City Thunder, Los Angeles Clippers, Minnesota Timberwolves, New Orleans Pelicans, and Utah Jazz. These teams will be fighting for playoff spots, but it will be a tough battle. Finally, the hopeful play-in team is the Houston Rockets, while the San Antonio Spurs and Portland Trail Blazers are expected to be lottery-bound. MLS Decision Day 2023 Playoff Picture, Clinching Scenarios, How to Watch Season Finales. Yahoo! All eyes will be on Decision Day in Major League Soccer on Saturday, as teams buy for playoff spots and jockey for position. In the East, CF Montreal, New York Red Bulls, Chicago Fire FC, Charlotte FC, and New York City FC are all competing for two remaining playoff berths. In the West, the Portland Timbers, FC Dallas, San Jose Earthquakes, Sporting Kansas City, and Minnesota United FC are battling for three playoff spots. There are also several other storylines to watch, 
including Inter Miami's potential to play spoiler against Charlotte FC, St. Louis City SC's chance to make expansion history, and the New York Red Bulls' bid to extend their record playoff streak. The playoffs will feature 18 teams, with the top nine finishers from each conference qualifying. The playoffs will begin with wildcard matches on October 25 to 26, followed by round one from October 28 to November 12, and the conference semifinals and finals from November 25 to December 3. The MLS Cup will be held on December 9. New era for women's rugby, same relentless Red Roses. Telegraph. England's women's rugby team beat Australia 42-7 at the Westpac Stadium in Wellington, New Zealand, during their first match of the new women's rugby Super Series. The game was a repeat of England's first match of the 2017 World Cup, which they also won. Six Nations champions England will play Canada on July 10, New Zealand on July 14 and France on July 18. Hello, folks. It's your favorite observer from the Six Degrees world, Dr. Six. I hope you're all doing well and ready for some interesting news updates. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have the rise of country music in Britain. Luke Combs, the American country singer, recently performed two sold-out shows at the O2 Arena in London. It seems like country music is finally gaining popularity in the UK after being on the fringe for years. Combs, known for his relatable and old-school sound, resonates with people's simple and universal aspirations. So, whether you're a fan or not, it's clear that country music is striking a chord with many. Next, we have some exciting news for netball fans. England Netball has announced plans to professionalize the domestic netball league by 2025. With growing popularity and a predominantly female fan base, netball is set to follow in the footsteps of football and Australia in taking the sport to the next level. This move not only aims to attract greater investment but also encourages more women to get involved in the sport. So, get ready to see some fierce competition on the netball court. Now, let's talk basketball. Eddie House, former Boston Celtics guard, has boldly declared that the Celtics are going to be a problem for the rest of the NBA. With an impressive preseason performance, where they averaged 112 points per game and broke their regular season franchise record for steals, the Celtics are expected to be a dominant force in the upcoming season. So, keep an eye out for these Celtics as they aim to make their mark in the NBA. Moving on to college football, the Idaho Vandals football team is taking a break, giving us a chance to catch up with some former Vandals. Paul Petrino, the former head coach, has taken on a new role as offensive coordinator at Central Michigan, while former head coach Rob Akey has joined him there. It's always interesting to see where former players and coaches end up, and it seems like these Vandals are making moves in their careers. In the world of NBA preseason, Nemius Quetta, a new member of the Boston Celtics, has impressed with his performance on the court. Scoring points with high shooting percentages and contributing to the team's success, Quetta is focused on being consistent and helping the team win as many games as possible. It's exciting to see new talents emerge and make an impact in the league. Now, let's take a look at the Western Conference of the NBA. With a stacked lineup of quality teams, securing playoff spots will be a tough battle. The clear contenders are the Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns, followed closely by the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers as fringe contenders. Then we have a group of teams fighting for playoff spots, including the Memphis Grizzlies, Dallas Mavericks, Sacramento Kings, and more. Finally, the hopeful play-in team is the Houston Rockets, while the San Antonio Spurs and Portland Trail Blazers are expected to be lottery-bound. It's going to be an exciting and competitive season in the Western Conference. Shifting gears to Major League Soccer, decision day is fast approaching, and teams are battling for playoff spots and positioning. With several teams competing for the remaining playoff berths, there will be intense matches and storylines to follow. The playoffs will feature 18 teams, with the top nine finishers from each conference qualifying. So, get ready for some thrilling soccer action as the teams fight for a chance at the MLS Cup. Lastly, let's celebrate the success of England's women's rugby team. They started the new women's rugby super series with a bang, defeating Australia 42-7. With upcoming matches against Canada, New Zealand, and France, the Red Roses are showing their relentless spirit and determination. It's a new era for women's rugby, but the Red Roses continue to shine on the international stage. That's all for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of the latest news. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on country music's rise in popularity, the professionalization of netball, or any other news story? Let's start a discussion and have some fun. Remember, in the Six Degrees world, every opinion matters. Thank you for tuning in.
The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.